Identity has many facets, because on the one hand, we define our identity by how we relate to other people, while at the same time, we see ourselves as unique. Diantha Achari started out by making unique gifts for special friends, and now she creates a bespoke look for her customers. Karishma went off to get the full story. Whether your preferred style is the sneaker, the espadrille, or the good old South African techie, casual footwear is a wardrobe essential. And those comfy kicks don't have to be plain. The Under can paint your personal high fashion fantasy on your shoes, exactly as you dreamt it. <laughs> Hi ladies! This looks exactly like my kind of party. <laughs> this is Natasha, she's one of my clients and we're just wrapping up some of her orders. Natasha, you have perfect timing because now I finally get to ask someone, what has this process been like for you? What has been the most enjoyable part? Her designs are pretty unique and I'm always looking for something new, so it's like perfect for me. I hope I'm not gate crashing this party. Uh, no, you're not. Um, sorry, I have to run. Thank you so much for the techies, I really, really love them. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks. God. Diantha, tell me a bit about your childhood. Were you always a creative soul? I was always a creative soul. I've always been drawing since a very young age. I've taken to sketching and drawing and doodling. And I come from a very creative family, so drawing wasn't anything new to us. So what inspired you to start Laced? Laced was a bit of an accident. I started doing 21st birthday gifts for my friends, putting them on social media for people to see. Eventually, people wanted them for themselves, and it just snowballed from there. Why shoes? Everyone has a pair of tackies lying around that they want to revive, that they want something special on. So shoes is a common medium, sort of, and it's something that's not done. So everyone's got a, a, a fancy t-shirt or a cool pair of sunglasses or a cool pair of jeans, but shoes are something that's untapped, so there's a natural progression to try it out there. Well, I would love to see more of what you do. I've got a whole setup waiting for you inside. Yay, I'm excited, let's go. <laughs> So I can see this is where the magic happens. Yes, well this is my studio and this is where I get all the ideas for the sneakers going. Can you take me through your creative process? Well, Karishma, you've actually ordered a pair of sneakers from me. I have. <laughs> so excited. Well, basically what I do with clients is I ask them to send me through a whole lot of pictures that they find visually interesting. So you've sent me a whole lot and the general vibe I've gotten is a boho vibe. So what I've put together is just some very, very, very rough sketches. What do you think so far? Well, I love everything here. I'm not sure how I feel about a face. <laughs> <laughs> shoes. Well, that's the whole point of this, of this sort of process, is to get an idea of what you like. We can always work around the face, and I can incorporate a bit more detail with the mandalas, and get that, that vibe that you feel personally connected to. Okay, so now I know the creative process, but I actually want to see how you do this. <laughs> well, what I have prepared for you is a pair of unpainted shoes. So I've done all the graphic work mm -hmm. and it's a very, very basic, very popular floral design. And we're gonna fill it in with what I think is my little signature style, which is watercolors. We're gonna need a variety of brushes. Okay. And every color of paint that you can think of. What I'm doing is I'm just putting a light layer of water on the shoe so that the watercolor bleeds properly. Just take a bit of water and dilute some paint. Okay, so we're not actually painting inside the line, we're just colouring in the whole shoe. With the watercolours, there is no point really in staying in the lines because the colour bleeds everywhere. What you have to do is just layer colours on top of each other until you get the blend and the colour combinations that you're looking for. Do you think there are any limitations to this or do you think you can pretty much do what you like? I think every artist has their strengths and weaknesses, mm -hmm. so I don't replicate things. I'll create something from scratch that I believe is original and new and something that I can successfully put into a pair of shoes. That is so interesting because they're both so different but they still look kind of alike. You could actually wear these two together. Yes, well, the shoes take on a personality of their own and they really do grow to match who you're designing for. You are an architect student. 
What do the two art forms have in common, if anything? And how do they complement each other in your life? Well, if anything, I think that the shoes were a way for me to have a release from architecture because um, although the creative process is very similar, architecture is very demanding in what you have to think about when you're designing. Did you enjoy wearing sneakers before you started Laced and do you wear them now every day? Sneakers are my go-to and they always will be, so designing on them was something that was pretty natural. What have been some of the most challenging designs for you? I think some of the most challenging things I've done are shoes that aren't meant to be worn. So things that um, are sculptural shoes, like the ones I did for Caterpillar. A lot of it was clay, a lot of it was cut and molded specifically for the shoe so that the shoe became something three-dimensional. And recently, I've challenged myself in a slightly different way, something I'm a little bit more comfortable with, but specifically for you guys at Miller. And here they are here. I hope you like them. Look at these. Those are really so incredible. Thank you so much. No, oh, it's a pleasure. These are amazing. Wow. I love that you have such a hands-on and interactive approach with your clients. Well, I'm actually holding a private viewing um, and I'd like to invite you to come join us. That would be wonderful. While the basic shoe comes off a production line, there's absolutely nothing mass-produced about the author's creations. The artwork for each item takes around two hours to design, followed by another four to six hours to execute. And one of her signature asymmetric pairs can easily represent 16 hours of meticulous personal input. Okay, Karishma, so what I have here is a private viewing of my new range with a few close friends. It's just to showcase what I've been doing and what's to come in the new spring season. So guys, what do you think of the range? Gee, these are really spectacular. I love all of the colors that you've done. The range is so cool and so versatile. And you need to show me, like, on this Galaxy One, how did it start? How did you get it done? Lots of sponges, lots of messy paint, and paint on my fingers. That's how I get that there. Why do you think people love what you do so much? I think what I do is kind of like a tattoo without the commitment. So the artwork on the shoes reflect the client's personalities and I think that's what sells them. Well, I cannot think of a better way to make a fashion statement than with these personalized kicks. Not only are they cool and trendy, but being one of a kind, you always guarantee to have that certain je ne sais quoi to make you stand out from the crowd. <laughs>